What's up guys, Argyle Alligator here, and I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved here. It's like a dinosaur survival game, but it also has other extinct animals in it, like the dodo bird and stuff from the Ice Age and things like that. So you're basically on this island where a bunch of animals that have been extinct through the ages have all come back to life, and you're trying to survive. And I figured I might as well show you a little bit of the steps on what it's going to take to survive an arc, at least just to get you started. I don't know that much about the game myself, but I do know a little, a little bit enough to help you start it here. So just as a uh, starter note, on the ground here you see these open stones. You can just push E and you can collect them as is. And when you collect things and walk around and fight, you will level up as I just did now. And when level up, you can push I to get into your inventory, and then you can level up any one of these, your melee damage, uh, your fortitude, crafting speed, stuff like that. Uh, I'm just going to put in health right now, but when you level up, you get these things called engram points, and engram points allow you to unlock crafting. Now, I like to get the stone hatchet here, and I also like to get the, uh, the campfire or the spear, but the campfire is pretty useful to cook meat. Now, um, to craft this stuff, all you got to do is open up your inventory again, and you go into your craftables, and it'll show you what you can craft. Now, I'm going to get the pick here. I need one stone, which I've already collected, one wood, and ten thatch. Thatch and wood can both be found off of trees. Uh, also, another good note is these little uh, shrubberies. You can push E on them, and you can collect fibers and sometimes also berries and seeds, which you can eat to keep your hunger up just in case you, you haven't killed anything yet. And fibers can be used to make clothes. So now here's a little tree that I can punch to get some thatch and wood. The only thing about punching trees is that it will hurt you a little bit. Same with, pun basically punching anything will hurt you. Uh, people, dinosaurs, trees, rocks, whatever. So you want to craft a tool as fast as you can so you can stop injuring yourself by doing this. Now I think I have enough here for my pickaxe. Nope, I don't. I need one more thatch. So let's find another tree down here. And uh, we'll get that going. I think that's a guy right there. That's totally a dude. But we're going to go ahead and ignore him for now. Because he might be hostile. And I'm trying to show you how to survive. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to craft this. Now as we craft that, these things have crafting timers. And once it's done, you go to your inventory items. And then you just drag it down. and drag some berries down there too in case I need to eat. So we have all these things here. So now that I've got this, I can pull it out, but I can't collect things with my hands anymore. It's going to say that you need to equip your hands. All you do is you push Q, and your hands will come back, and you can collect things off the ground as needed. Now, the pick is good. You can use it on trees or also stone. Anything like this will work. Getting a little bit of lag here, but that's fine. It's early access. Nothing to worry about. And from big stone nodes, you're going to get flint and stone, but it's easier to get stone off the ground on the beach. Uh, these stones are a actually a little bit better for uh, just getting flint. You can get them off these little nodes too, but I would say that these are much easier to get stone from on the ground. And you can basically make things. So that's really all you do. You craft, you harvest, you run around, and the more you harvest, the more you craft, the more things you kill, uh, you will gain more and more experience and level up. And if we come into this level tree here, as we can look at the ingrams, there's a lot of different things we can make, and uh, I know some of these already, like this is a slingshot, this is a hat, there's clothes, there's building materials, these are some guns you can see down here, and it just when you get more and more higher into the levels, you can do these. The one thing that I'm wondering about that I'm not really sure of, though, is that if you'll be able to get enough ingrams to get all of the crafting recipes, because if not, you're going to have to depend on other players to craft the things that you didn't uh, level up and spec into. So that's pretty much it. But those are the basics of uh, surviving an arc. Not really a problem. Just crafting berries. Oh, and the one last thing I forgot to tell you. If you're running low on water, all you need to do is just jump into the water and you'll start to regen your little water meter down there. I'm going to try to run around a little bit and drain it if I can just to show you. I don't know if it's going to go down. But basically, that's all you need to do. If your water droplet thing goes down, just go ahead and jump in the water. That's really the only way to hydrate it. Any water will do. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's... Oh, that pterodactyl is doing some derpy stuff. Other than that, that's really all the survival basics I know. It's just try to stay alive and level up. The good thing, though, is if you do die, you keep your levels and you keep your ingrams. You just lose everything on you. 
So if you do die, um, it's 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 good to try to focus early just to gain as many levels as possible, and it doesn't really matter if you die. Um, the other thing I can really think about is there's these little dinosaurs called Diplos. Uh, they're little spitter dinosaurs like the one from Jurassic Park that uh, shot at Newman. I don't really I don't know the actor's name or the character's name. He's the big fat guy with the glasses. Uh, it spit at him when he was having the whipped cream cans. Uh, they are pretty easy to kill, so they're good to level up off of. Also, Diplo, uh, Diplos. Um, uh, Dodo birds are easy to level up of also on the beginning there too and that's all I really know about the early moments of survival for this game but that took me a little bit to figure out so uh, hopefully this guide can be helpful just to get you starting out in the beginning and uh, let you know uh, everything I do just to start out here and yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, have fun in ARK and uh, I hope this guide can help you get started on your survival and uh, maybe we'll get into building some other time because you can build houses too and uh, there's crafting mats through Ingrams for or crafting plans through the Ingrams for all kinds of different wood platforms and doorways and walls and roofs and all that good stuff so this is Ark Survival Un uh, Evolved it's coming out June 2nd which will be today on Steam so uh, look forward to it I'm Argyle Alligator and I'm signing off Another tip I wanted to give you guys about graphic optimization in this game, I have a lot of things turned down because it's not really that well optimized right now due to the fact that it is a early access game in alpha. But I wanted to let you know that this thing over here called the resolution scale is very important. It will help things look a lot better in your game. I would say keep it around here to keep the frames up and make things still look good at about 85, 90%, 75% where this thing sits, I think is a good place for it to be at. So that is a very important thing. Also, you can change all these buttons around. Uh, all you have to do is just go to options. They will show you all of the things that you need to know about this game. Uh, other than that, the graphical options are very good, but this resolution scale is important. If you want your game to look a little better and still run it on low to medium like I am to have the frames up, I would suggest playing with that and seeing where you want. I just wanted to give you guys that one heads up. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Follow me at Twitter to get in contact with me or more updates, and join my Steam group to be part of the illustrious Swamp Society community. Thanks, everyone.